Let's rock! Good morning everyone. Here we are at the Australian Computer Museum in Sydney and today I'm looking at MyKit Series 15 in 1 from Gacken. So this is uh, one of these old Learn Electronics sets. Um, I had a similar one when I was a kid, a little bit newer I think, and they actually still sell these today. Uh, not exactly this one, but there's very similar ones that have these little spring terminals for connecting the wires. So we won't do all 50 projects, but I think uh, number one is a crystal radio. It doesn't need any power supply, so I think that's probably a good way to start. Uh, so we won't be hooking up any old components to voltages. And yeah, let's see if we can get some sound out of it. All right, so we have a beautiful manual and we've got simple schematics for all 50 projects. So just having a quick look. And we've got number one here. Take a close up of that. And we've got number one, which is the simple crystal radio. I think it essentially just uses a diode to uh, sort of rectify the AM into audio. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Now I'm looking at the diagram and I can see that we've got links between the various numbers. Okay, and I can actually see down the bottom there's some things here which are just showing. So, uh, for example, I can see we've got 81, 50, 16, 8, and 4 all going to ground. Okay, so I guess anywhere that there's a line, I've got to connect those two. So let's start with our little earpiece. And <clears throat> to connect it in, to connect it in, you just lift up these little springs and then pop the wire in. That one's a bit loose, but it doesn't matter because it's not actually connected to anything underneath. These ones are just going to be bridging the earphone to the next wire, which is going to be going to a 250K resistor, which is pins 49 and 50, so the one over here. Okay, so let's start getting our little bits of wire. <clears throat> we want to connect 80. 49. Okay, and we want to connect 81. Oh, that one's back down. <laughs> Put them both in at once. Okay, we want to connect 81 to 50. So let's pop these two wires in here. Okay, that's there. And then 50 over here. Okay, great. Now we want to put that in parallel with a little capacitor, 15 and 16. That's this little guy over here, okay. Should probably sort out these wires, but I think I should be able just to find suitable ones, okay. Oh, maybe I should just keep going with the same colors. Should I? Let's have a go. Okay, so 49 goes to 15. I don't know if it actually matters. I don't think these components are polarized, but we still want to keep everything consistent. And then we'll connect our number 50 to number 16. That's a bit short. Let's see if we got a slightly longer green wire. Yeah, that's better. Okay, number 50 into number 16. All right. Now, 16's 
16 is going to go to 8, which is our variable capacitor. I think this is going to be the tuning for the radio. And then from 8, it's going to go to number 4 right here. Okay. Let's give that a go then. Get some short wires. Still sticking with the green and yellow as much as I can, just... Some of these are a little bit frayed. Okay, so again, we're going from 16. That might be a bit too thin, I think. Oh, whatever. Okay, 16 over to 8. It's not suitable at all. This one's a bit better. Okay, then from eight to four. And then from four, we're going to go to ground. And apparently ground is literally ground on this. Um, you're supposed to hook it up to a, a tap or something. That's why I'm in the kitchen here, so I can reach the tap. So let's have a nice long ground wire here. Okay, and then we'll stick that on our tap when we're ready to go. Okay, what else do we have then? So number seven from our capacitor is going to go to number one. So it's going to the other side of this big coil. <clears throat> and we'll use a new color for this. Okay, now this is bar antenna. Um, I think it's more of a transformer type coil though, or a resonator, I guess it would be. The antenna is going to be a separate wire. So we've got seven, two, one. Now back over here, number 15. It's going to go onto a diode, which is over here. Great. Lots of yellow wires still, so let's use some of those. Okay, so 15. Over to the diode to number six and this does matter because diodes obviously are polarized that's pretty much the whole purpose in life so we've got to make sure we put on the right side okay and then number five of the diode is going to go one to the coil and one over to another capacitor so which one of these is shorter i'll use the shorter one for the shorter connection okay so Going from number two, yep, over to our diode. There we go. And then from the same side of the diode, oh, over to another capacitor. There we go. And now the capacitor goes to the antenna. So um, just looking for the longest wire that I have. I guess there's this. Okay, from our capacitor, we now go to the antenna. This is the longest piece of wire. So I'll use that. All right, so let's check. We have antenna to 17, yes. 18 to five to two, yes. Two yes to yes, okay. Six to 15 to 49. 6 to 15 to 49 to 80. Yes. Okay, and we have ground to 4 to 8. Is that right? A little bit crowded here. Yep, to 8. 8 to 16. 16 and to 50. 
50 to 81. All right. Now, I think if I just stick this in my ear, I'm not going to hear anything. No, we need to get a stronger ground. So I'm going to move over to the, the tap. I'm in the kitchen here. We'll see how we go. Okay, here we go. We have our ground wire taped onto this tap. Our antenna wire is going up in the air. And let's put this on. Okay, I'm not hearing anything. So <clears throat> I should probably start doing some tests on this kit because it's possible that some of these terminals aren't actually connected or that some of the components have um, <clears throat> Well, that some of the components have aged a bit too much. Yeah, I'm definitely not hearing anything, so let's do some diagnostics. Okay, <clears throat> now I've checked the connections and they seem reasonably all right. Um, what I've decided to do is I've hooked this up to an amplified speaker so if there are any signals out there, this should be able to pull them in. Like something's there. Very sensitive tuning. I'm going to get the earpiece and I'll see if I can hear it through that. Okay, I'll disconnect the speaker. I need silence I think for this to work. Interestingly, it seems to work better when I'm holding the antenna wire, so I guess I'm part of the antenna. Okay, all right, listening very carefully. there so I did try just brushing the wires from the earpiece over a battery and it made a few clicks but maybe it's not sensitive enough maybe it's worn out uh, yeah so my dream of free radio not quite happening yet because I still need an amplifier to hear it okay um, yeah so I think we've probably got Bit of servicing and cleaning to do on this before I can do any more of the projects. But yeah, it was interesting to at least find that we can build a radio and it is capable of pulling a signal. And let's hope that next time I come back with this, 
it's going to be working a bit better. All right, thanks for watching.